Hey guys, I'm sitting here in the office editing this video that you're about to watch. Well, I filmed this video about six months ago, so it was exactly when Lincoln turned six months old. He's currently a year old, so a lot of things have changed. I feel like I'm talking about a lot of things that don't make sense now, like I'm talking about looking forward to the holidays, like Christmas, talking about how hot the weather is and how fall is about to come, and so it's totally not relevant, but I figured better late than never. And I thought it was also interesting and kind of funny how safe and guarded I am about the kinds of items that I picked in the clothing haul because I think it was when I was first trying to get my groove back as a mom. And um, so yeah, I picked a lot of safe items, but then as I continue to thrift and as you will see in my next few hauls, um, I get a little bit more adventurous and daring and a little bit more like my actual taste in clothing. So I hope you've been enjoying these thrift hauls and all these other vlogs and things that I've been doing to this channel. It is harder, definitely, trying to get back into our cooking show right now. So I figured I still want to stay connected to you guys this way. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my first clothing thrift haul. Hi guys, it's Julie here. Welcome back, and if you're new to this channel, then hey for the first time. I hope you don't mind the AC sound, if you can hear it. It's really unbelievably hot today. It's like 93 degrees and it's supposed to be fall. So anyways, in case you didn't know, I used to be in fashion design before I became a chef, and so I still love clothes. I still love putting myself together. But after becoming a mom, I mean, it's like your body doesn't look the same, none of your clothes fit the same like ever again, and it's just tough. And that's been six months, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and get stuff. Throughout my entire pregnancy, I wore thrift clothing. And I'm like, what's the shame and blame in doing it now, postpartum? And the cool thing is that if you do shrink eventually and you know it doesn't look right, you only spend a few bucks on it and you got some good use out of it and in general your mood is feels better because of it. So we're just gonna jump right into it. My first item was this Gap Leopard spotted sweatshirt which I think is so cute. It has a little bit of a gold which of course I love and leopard, zebra, whatever that kind of animal stripe is not really my thing. But in this situation, I feel like it's subtle enough with all the gray. I wore this in my home decor thrift haul video, and um, I think it looks cute with just some jeans for running around. It's kind of like good for the mom bod, but it still looks kind of cute. You can dress it up, dress it down. And I like it with the sleeves rolled up. At first when you put it on, it just kind of looks like nothing. And then when you roll up the sleeves, scrunch it up a bit on your arms, then it's good to go. And this costs $3.99, and I don't think that's bad for Gap, especially because it's in pretty good condition. Speaking of sweatshirts, I have this fun boy Los Angeles sweatshirt. Something about it just made me pull it off the rack when I saw it. I don't know if it was because of that 80s vibe with the off-shoulder look, kind of raggedy, the seams are on the outside, very soft, and it looks vintage. And when I looked it up, it says it's made in the USA. It's comfortable, cozy, and what I like about it is that it is loose with a loose top, but then the sleeves are narrow. They're really skinny, so then they give you some shape so you can scrunch it up. Um, you can wear it off shoulder or just on with a basic tank underneath, and because it's somewhat cropped, I think it would be cute with either shorts or a skirt, but you know, if you want to wear it with jeans and you want something longer to cover the back and the tummy, then you could just wear it with a longer tank. And honestly, I can just throw on a maternity or nursing tank underneath it and be fine. And this cost $4.99. This item was nothing to call home about at first when I saw it. It kind of reminded me of scrubs or something. I mean, it just didn't really look like much. And at first when I tried it on, I had my hair in a ponytail and just, it didn't look right. It made me look kind of dowdy. But then I decided to put my hair down, put some jewelry on, and it actually looks really cute. And pink is something that's surprising to me, and this is kind of why I like shopping at thrift stores, because sometimes you end up buying things that you wouldn't normally buy because it's just kind of hand-selected for you, like you have no other choice, it just happens to be on the rack. And I like that it's sheer, and you can use it for layering, and I think it's a good transitional piece from this hot weather to fall. And for me, I tend to like any kind of detail, like zippers, grommets, anything with hardware. So this blouse here was $3.99. This is another example of something that I would have overlooked normally because 
the brand is It's Our Time. I think that's kind of like something I wore maybe when I was like in junior high or something. I don't know. And it just like hangs there again. But I decided to give it a chance because it's so lightweight and it was in good condition. And it has this bat wing thing going. So it's like the tight fitting sleeves but the loose forgiving mom body forgiving tunicky flowy top. And what I like about it is the back, which has this button detail and a little bit of a coattail in the back, and it has a high-low thing going as well. This sweater was $3.99, which I think is great for the condition, the material style, and the button details. This one's kind of funny because guess what? It's Kirkland brand. Isn't that Costco, or is that its own brand, like its own line for clothing? I don't know, but Kirkland seems like Costco to me. And this one cost $4.99. I don't know, I must have had sweatshirts on my mind or something. I think I was feeling like a little frumpy that day and I just wanted to put like tarps on top of me. But then I ended up being kind of cute because there's a little bit of a back detail. There's seaming in the back, a back yoke, along with a raglan sleeve line, which is kind of like that baseball tee style. And then there's another seam that goes diagonal in the back. So there's a little bit of an interest. And also the color, it seems at first glance to just be black, but it's more like a charcoal mixed with a heather gray. But what I like about it is the size. It's so big and flouncy. And then again, there's little thumb holes for like that athletic wear looking thing, but I probably won't wear it like that. I think I will roll up the sleeves and scrunch it up again because I think it adds a little bit more cuteness that way. $4.99 for a comfortable sweatshirt that I will probably wear often, especially during the colder months of Chicago. This guy was my splurge at $6.99. $7 seems like a lot for a thrift store because I mean I'm sure you can find stuff on clearance at regular stores for that much but this is from American Eagle Outfitters and it's in perfect condition there is not a pill not a snag or a hole I love the open weave of it and something about this feels very homey and cozy um, perfect for fall the color is this nice taupey color and again me and my little zip detail and it made me feel like it's a very soft material for even holding Lincoln, and he likes to rub his face on my face whenever he's tired or on my clothes, so I feel like this is good for that. I also did get an ugly Christmas sweater, which I'm debating about even showing you because a lot of my friends watch my videos, and we do a competition every year, and I'm very competitive. I think I want to win. I got this for $4.99. It's more like a sweater vest. And the best part was that the tag was still on it. It was brand new. Um, maybe I'll just do a quick flash by. <laughs> yeah, I hope to win the contest this year. I'm not playing around. And since it's a vest, you can ugly it up even more by adding another sweater underneath or a blouse that's very festive. I mean, I'm excited. I was gonna maybe save this for a next haul, but I don't know when that will be. I got this dress, which is nice because it's not just a top. It looks like it'd be more of a summer dress because it's like a linen-ish material. Um, and it has a nice little rope um, tie at the waist and tiny little buttons. This is from Morona, which is the Target brand. This was $4.79 which I think is an excellent price for a dress that I can put a cardigan, a blazer over, or just wear as is. Well, that is all for my smaller clothing haul. And I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like I got such fun things, but at the same time for me, it was practical, comfortable, and something that I actually really love because I didn't want to just buy things to, for the sake of buying. I don't want to fill up my whole closet with a bunch of stuff. And I don't feel bad if in the end I end up changing my mind, which I do. I'm not the type of person who likes to invest in huge and like really expensive things because um, I tend to get bored and I kind of change my taste a lot. Um, and especially right now in my transitional stage, uh, I just want to celebrate what I have. Leave a comment down below which one was your favorite item that I thrifted and how would you wear it? And do you like thrifting for your clothes as well? I've been doing it ever since I was in college and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to push like, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.